Hello my dear student in this video you are going to learn polynomial representation using an array so let's see first of all what is polynomial then what are the different types of polynomial and then how we can represent it by using one dimensional array and then two dimensional array okay so i am assuming that all of you know polynomial so this is the one example of polynomial 2x raised to 2 plus 3x plus 4 so actually in the polynomial there are two terms first one is the coefficient and second one is the exponent coefficient and exponent let's take another example 3x raised to 2 plus 2x plus 5 this is one polynomial which consists of coefficient and exponent so how many terms are there 1 2 3 3 terms are there in this polynomial and each and every terms having coefficient and exponent okay so coefficient of this term is 3 okay and exponent of this term is 2 Okay, so this is the exponent of this term x raised to 2. So 2 is the exponent for this term. If you are considering this term, then what will be the coefficient? 2 is the coefficient of this term, and exponent is 1. If you are considering this term, then what is the coefficient for this term? It is 5. Okay, and exponent for this we can consider x raised to 0. because x raised to 0 we can write down as a 1 okay so coefficient exponent for this we can consider as a 0 so for each and every term in the polynomial there are two parts first one is the coefficient and exponent so we have the same that by using this example so there are different types of polynomial first one is the single variable second one is the two variable and third one is the three variable polynomial so in single variable polynomial only one variable will be there as per the name implies in two variable polynomial only two variables are there and in three variable polynomials only three variables are there okay if polynomial includes only one variable that we can say as a one variable polynomial or we can say if polynomial includes two variables then that we can say as a two variable polynomials so this is the example of one variable polynomials so which variable included in this polynomial x okay only one variable is there so this we can say as a one variable polynomial okay so let's take one example of two variable polynomial okay 2 raised to uh, 2x raised to 2 y raised to 2 plus 2xy plus 3 okay so in this particular polynomial three terms are there and each and every term coefficient and exponents are there okay so two variables are there x and y that's why this is called as a two variable polynomial okay this we can say as a two variable polynomial if it includes three variable then that we can say as a three variable polynomial for example 2x raised to 2 y raised to 2 z raised to 2 plus 2 xyz plus 3 so in this polynomial three variables are there x y and z that's why this is called as a three variable polynomial so this is the example of three variable polynomial okay so this is called as a one variable two variable three variable polynomial now we'll see how we can represent this type of polynomial by using one dimensional and two dimensional array so let's see first of all by using one dimensional array using one dimensional array how we can represent the polynomial 
so we'll consider first of all one variable polynomial okay so in one variable polynomial we'll take one example 3x raised to 2 plus 4x plus 3 okay so total how many terms are there 1 2 3 3 terms are there so while storing this in an array we are considering here memory representation of polynomial using array okay so when you will store this polynomial in computer memory in an array by using array okay so we need to consider array okay and your first index will store coefficient of first term always okay so first term is 3x raised to 2 okay so coefficient of it is x second index will store exponent of that term first term so what is the exponent of this term this is 2 this is the exponent of this term okay so this is regarding the first term we need to store first of all coefficient of first term and then exponent of first term same way for the second term second term is 4x okay so we will store coefficient of second term that is 4 in this example and then exponent of the second term that is 1 for this example okay so this 4 and 1 for the second term okay and then your third term is this one now same for the third term first of all you need to store the coefficient and then we'll store the coefficient so we'll consider coefficient as a zero you can consider here x raised to zero because x raised to zero we can consider as a one so in this way we can store polynomial in one dimensional array okay so this is the one type of polynomial that is one variable polynomial we are considering first term okay and we will store first of all coefficient of first term then exponent of first term okay then we will consider the second term coefficient of first term exponent of first term then we will consider the third term coefficient of third term exponent of fourth third third term in this way we can store uh, polynomial by using an array okay same way if two variable polynomial is there how we can store it let's see okay take one example of two variable polynomial 2x raised to 2 y raised to 2 plus 2xy we can take here 3 for better understanding 3xy plus 4 okay so this is another one polynomial okay this is which type of polynomial this is two variable polynomial okay so by using array we need we need to store this polynomial in computer memory so we need to consider the first term as like this we will store first of all coefficient of first term so here coefficient of first term is 2 okay the next first variable we need to consider first variable is x1 x and second variable is y okay so first variable is x so we need to consider exponent of first variable that is 2 and then exponent of second variable that is 2 so this is regarding the first term then again we need to consider the second term so first we need to consider the coefficient of second term and then exponent of first term that is 1 in this example and this exponent of next term that is 1 okay so this is regarding the second term in this example now consider the third term coefficient is 4 exponent is 0 for x and 0 for y so this we can say uh, this is for third term okay so in this way we can store two variable polynomial by using array in computer memory okay so in one variable what we need to consider coefficient and for variable exponent of variable 
ओके ये कोफिशन एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट वेरिएबल एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ सेकेंड वेरिएबल दिस वी नीड टू कंसिडर फॉर ईच एंड एवरी स्टोर एवरी एलिमेंट एंड दैट वी नीड टू स्टोर ओके सो इन दिस वे वी कैन स्टोर वन वेरिएबल पोलनोमेल एंड टू वेरिएबल पोलनोमेल यूजिंग वन डायमेंशनल अरेन नाउ इफ देर इज अ टू डायमेंशनल अरेन okay how we can store this one variable polynomial and two variable polynomial that we'll see using two dimensional array how we can store one variable polynomial so consider two dimensional array as a uh, sorry one variable polynomial as a 3x square plus 4x plus 2 this is one variable polynomial because this includes only one variable that is x okay so we need to store this one variable polynomial using two dimensional array in a computer memory so how we can store okay so for that you need to consider rows and columns okay so first column will store coefficient okay and second column will store exponent always your first column will store coefficient and second column will store exponent and rows we are considering for each and every term so in this polynomial three terms are there first one is the 3x square then 4x then 2 three terms are there so for that we required three rows because for rows we are considering term this row is for first term this row is for second term this row is for third term okay so for this example first term is 3x square so what is the coefficient of first term that is 3 and what is the exponent of first term that is 2 okay so second term we need to consider now the coefficient of second term is 4 and coefficient uh, sorry exponent of second term is 1 okay same way for the third term coefficient is 2 and exponent is 0 so in this way we can store this polynomial we can say one variable polynomial by using two dimensional array in a computer memory suppose there is a two variable polynomial then how we can store it in a computer memory you can see here two variable polynomial let's take one example 3x square y square plus 4xy plus 5 take this example two variables are there x y x y so this we can say as a two variable polynomial now we need to store this two variable polynomial by using two dimensional array in a computer memory so we can do it as i said previously first column represent the coefficient okay second column represent the exponent okay but here are the two variables so second column will represent the exponent of first variable okay and third column represent exponent of second variable okay and this row how many number of rows will be there that is depend on how many terms are there in the polynomial so in this polynomial three terms are there so we'll consider three rows 0 1 2 3 rows first row is for first term second row is for second term and third row is for third term so consider the first term of this example that is 3 x raised to 2 y raised to 2 what so what is the coefficient here 3 so we can store that here this row is for first term okay so first index for the column is coefficient is for coefficient so we can need to store 3 then exponent of first variable that is 2 then exponent of second variable y that is 2 
okay same way for the second term 4 is the coefficient this is the second term 4 x y 4 is the coefficient for x co uh, exponent is 1 for y exponent is 1 for the third term this is the third term coefficient is 5 exponent for first variable is 0 exponent for second variable is 0 so in this way we can store true variable polynomial by using two dimensional array in a computer memory so in this way we can represent the polynomial okay by using one dimensional and two dimensional array if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel till then take care bye bye